The important tips and tricks for a beginner DIYer when you want to take on something more complicated like electrical and changing light fixtures. I'll show you step by step exactly what I do and how I do it and how you should do it safely as well. It doesn't have to be scary, it's actually pretty easy. Let's start. Make sure it's firm but don't over tighten. Now you're going to take this and plug it in to your circuit here. Give it a little support here and plug it in. And now you see, we have an active circuit because the light is green. So now we got this in place, let's head to the breaker box and see where that circuit is. All right, so now we're here at our breaker box. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our finder here. And the important setting is here on green. This red setting here tells you only if a circuit is hot. That's it, just tells you if you have power. See, if you go on green, this will actually track down which circuit is connected to that transmitter. You just wanna go slowly. Right there, living room lights. And sometimes you may have a false positive beep, so you wanna recheck. Always on an old home, don't rely solely on what's written on these tags here. Electrician did the best job they could, but a lot of times there will be crossover on these circuits. So make sure you test and verify. Right there, not there, but there, not there, but there. So we know for sure, let's go ahead and click that off. And we see the crossover. It covers the garage, the living room, and outside in the front. So let's go back outside and we'll see that our little plug-in tester there is gonna show us that that light is off. And as we can see here, the green light is no longer there. So this circuit is now down. We'll turn our tester back on here, go on the hot mode, and just verify that it is not, in fact, hot. And we are okay, that is not hot. We're gonna keep the screws, because we'll need those later. Okay, we can go ahead and pull this down. There we go. What we're gonna do is gonna disconnect both those wires and we're gonna cap off with a wire nut the positive, the power side, which is always gonna be either red or black. Neutral is almost always gonna be white and ground, either gonna be green or bare copper. The reason why that is, is because they don't have to carry much load. That's just an overload, essentially, kind of a safety. So let's go ahead, we'll take those off and we'll cap this guy off here. We're just gonna use a hand screwdriver because we don't need to use a power driver for this. We're gonna go ahead and first of all, disconnect our hot here. Get that kind of out of the way. These are 